we need to determine the percent yield of a reaction that has produced 71.5 grams of silver from 132.5 grams of silver nitrate. Now, in order to determine the percent yield of the reaction, let's first remember uh, the formula for that. The percent yield of the reaction is the ratio of the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield. So I just put A and T and multiply this by 100%. This is how we determine the percent yield of the reaction. So now let's think about what we have here. What is the 71.5 grams of silver? Is this the actual or theoretical yield? Now because the problem actually tells us this is how much of the silver has been produced, this is then the actual yield. Uh, so we know the actual yield of the silver, which is given in the mass. So we can write down that the mass of the silver is equal to 71.5, so 71.5 grams. Okay, so put it here, 71.5 grams, and we need to find now the theoretical yield because this is what we don't know the theoretical yield is the amount of the product that is formed based on our calculations so in theory based on our calculations in other words in ideal world how much of the product we can get in order to do it we need to start from our reactant from silver nitrate this is what we start with and we need to determine the moles of silver nitrate because we need to have the moles to do any type of calculations in stoichiometry. So the moles of silver nitrate are equal to 132.5 grams, so this is the mass, over the molar mass of silver nitrate, which is 169.9 grams per mole. And so if we divide, we get 0.77 nine nine moles i'm going to round this off to 0.78 moles <clears throat> and do with a calculation based on that so we have 0.78 moles of silver nitrate and i'm going to put it here 0.78 moles so based on our stoichiometry based on the mole ratios how much of silver will be produced from 0.78 moles of silver nitrate the ratio is 2 to 2, which means that every 2 moles of silver nitrate produces 2 moles of silver. So 0.78 moles will produce 0.78 moles. And this is how much of um, silver in theory is expected to be formed. This is our theoretical yield in moles. So we need to now compare the actual yield and the theoretical yield. And one thing to keep in mind is that we need to have the same ratio. We need to divide either the masses by masses or the moles by moles. So let's compare this to mass. So if I convert this to mass, we'll have that the mass of silver, in theory, that will produce this 0.78 moles multiplied by the molar mass, which is 107.9 grams per mole and yeah, so the moles so this gives us 84.2 grams of silver again so this is the theoretical yield in this year this is how much should be produced and we can write down that the percent yield of the reaction actual over theoretical so actual was 71.5 grams we divide this by 84 0.2 grams times 100 percent so this gives us 84.9 percent so about 85 percent will be the yield of this reaction what we can also do here in a um, slightly different way let's say put number two here second approach we can write down that 84.2 grams of silver correspond to 100% of the reaction. In theory, we expected that we should have 84.2 grams based on these calculations. Based on the moles of how much reaction we had, we expected to have 
0.78 moles, which was 84.2 gram, which is what we write down here. But we know that we did not have 84.2 grams, but we had 71.5 gram of silver, and this will be x percent unknown so if we calculate the x here it will give us exactly the same number we have that this is about 85 percent yield just a slightly different way how to calculate the percent yield